What's going on, everybody? We have yoga routine number 10 today. We're going to start off in child's pose. Just remember, child's pose is all about relaxation, just getting absolutely comfortable. We're also slowing down our breath, closing your mouth, doing deep belly breaths. And also, it's been a while, but we got to get into that yoga state of mind. So if there's any kind of distractions out there, push them outside of the gym and get ready to focus in on yourself for the next 30 minutes. All right, everybody, come on out of child's pose, onto all fours, and actually just sling your legs around. Uh, we're going to go into knees to chest. All right, we're going to do a couple poses here in our warm up. They're traditionally third mountain poses. But if you do them with flow, they can be a first mountain pose. First one's bridge. So go ahead, bring your feet down onto the, um, onto the ground, uh, hands just along the side. On an inhale, you're lifting up your hips. Exhale, you're sinking back down towards the mat. Inhale, lift up your hips. Exhale, back down towards the mat. And then do this flow at your own pace, inhaling up. Remember the alignment, knees, hips, shoulders, ears, all in one line. Exit, okay, exhale, back down to the mat. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. And on your next exhale, you'll find yourself just on your back. Uh, next is going to do abdominal work, which is basically like a yoga sit-up. So go ahead and put your hands behind your head. On an inhale, lift from the chest. Exhale, back down on the mat. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down and keep doing that at your own pace. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Remember, do not curl from the neck. You're lifting from the chest. You're not curling the neck. 
lifting through the chest. Think about um, keeping that, your, your spine in alignment. By lifting on the neck, you're pulling straight out of alignment. By lifting from the chest though, that keeps you in alignment. Inhaling up, exhaling down. All right, next is a, uh, a supine spinal twist, but flowing. Start with knees to chest, and then we're gonna start by dropping the right leg and doing the spinal twist to the right, and then inhaling back up to knees to chest. Exhale, dropping down the left leg, and supine spinal twist to the left. Inhaling back to knees to chest. Exhale, supine spinal twist to the right. Exhale up or inhale up. Exhale, supine spinal twist to the left. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep doing this at your own pace. All right, on your next exhale, back to knees to chest, or inhale, you'll be back at knees to chest. Go ahead and just roll back up into the sitting position, coming all the way up and through, onto all fours, coming up into standing. So different looking warm up there, but a yoga warm up nonetheless. Uh, next, or this week, you're gonna write your own, start writing your own yoga routine. That can be your warm up if you'd like it to be your warm up. Um, about to do our sun salutation. So, great time to tuck in that shirt. You don't want the belly out. All right, inhale and on top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg back into a lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling plank, exhale crocodile, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Inhale that right leg forward into a lunge, exhale forward fold, inhale reverse one dive up. Exhale, chair. Inhale, back to mountain. Inhale and arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left leg back into a lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, crocodile. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg forward lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. Exhale into that chair. All right, um, on uh, an inhale, let's lift those arms up. 
Exhale, lower left arm, lateral flexion. Remember to push it up through the fingertips, down through the heel. Create this side stretch. And breathe nice and slow and deep. other side. Breathe. Exhale, forward fold. And on an inhale, slowly bring yourself back up to standing. Excellent. Uh, let's interlace our fingers behind our back for some chest expansion. Interlace the fingers, straighten out those arms, try to lift them up. And you can stay just like this, or you could add a micro bend to those knees and, uh, and a little bit of a forward fold. Exhale, forward fold, bringing the feet back into a plank for kneeling side plank. You either go fists or uh, palms here, just depending on your wrists. Let's drop down the, uh, which one's this? The left knee, bring out the foot for the kickstand. The hand on the mat, the knee and the ankle on the mat should all be in one straight line. And then stack your hands vertically. Excellent. Bring that hand back down to the mat, back to plank. Other side, dropping the right knee down on the mat, bringing out the kickstand. Once again, the hand on the mat, the knee, and the foot on the mat should all be in one straight line. And stack your hands vertically. back down to the mat, back to plank. Quick half series here. Plank, crocodile, up dog, down dog. And you can either rest here in down dog or you can rest in child's pose for a couple of breaths. Your choice. All right, if you're in child's pose, come on back to downward facing dog. Um, you're going to either do side plank here, or you could do a second set of kneeling side plank. Your choice. But going into plank, starting with that left hand, turning onto the side. Back to plank, other side. All 
All right, come on on back to plank. Quick half series here, plank, crocodile, up dog, down dog. And then take a big step forward with the uh, left foot, warrior series. Come on up for warrior one. Front foot lined up to back heel, back foot at 45 degrees. Front knee bent in directly over the ankle. Hips towards the front, arms elevated. Open your hips to the side so that they're parallel to the mat lengthwise here for warrior two. Also dropping your hands down to shoulder height. Take a quick peek at that front knee. Make sure the front knee is still over the ankle. If it's not, make, just make the adjustment. Reverse warrior, flip over that front hand and tilt up. Back to warrior two, next side angle. Bring that uh, front arm down onto the knee, other arm up towards the sky. You could also go extended angle if you want, bringing that lower hand all the way down to the mat. All right, coming back up to warrior two, finish this off with triangle. Straighten the front knee, lean forward and tilt. All right, bring the hands down to the mat for a lunge. Other foot back. Plank, quick half series, plank, crocodile, up dog, down dog. And next, bring the right foot forward for our warrior series. Warrior one, front foot lined up to back heel, back foot 45 degrees. Front knee bent and over the ankle. Hips square to the front, arms elevated. So many cues with that one pose. Warrior two, open your hips to the side, arms down the shoulder height. Take a quick peek at that knee, make sure that it's still directly over the ankle. Reverse warrior, flip over that front hand and tilt up. Back to warrior two, side angle, front arm down onto the knee, other arm towards the sky. If you went extended angle on the first side, go extended angle again. Back up to warrior two, finish this off the triangle, straighten the front knee, lean forward and tilt. All right, bringing the hands down towards the mat for a lunge. Foot back for a plank, crocodile, up dog, down dog. All 
All right, let's take a big step forward with the left foot and come it on up and then just pivot on your feet so that you're facing Mount Sai to the east. Want our feet parallel for this one. On an inhale, extend up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Allow your hands to fall where they naturally fall. Thigh, shin, feet, or floor. On an exhale, maybe you sink a little bit lower and hold on those inhales. Let's put those hands back on the hips and on an inhale, slowly come back up to standing using those core muscles. And then go ahead and take a big step back up towards the top of the mat or mountain. Uh, find our balance pose. I haven't done a yoga routine in a while, so I'm just going to do a tree pose today. Of course, a good tree starts with a good mountain. So grip the mat with the four corners of the feet, engage the quad muscles, engage the core muscles, use those hands, reach down towards the mat. And then go ahead and switch your weight, start by uh, switching to the right foot. When you got that weight on that right foot, go ahead and slide the other foot up, either go ankle, calf, maybe thigh, but avoid the knee. Once you have your balance, go ahead and bring your hands to heart center. You can also grow some branches if you'd like and breathe. your way on the mat. Refine your mountain feet, quads, core, hands. Switching the weight to that left foot. Everything that you did on the other side. Up. Exhale, forward fold, feet back in plank, on your knees, and find child's pose.
right, we'll do a couple back bends, starting with locust pose. Come onto our belly, hands down by the side. And just remember, when you do this back bend, the back bend starts from the chest. On an inhale, you lift up from the chest. Exhale, hold. Inhale, maybe you're able to come up more. Exhale, hold. Some people, your hands and feet will come up off the mat. Just concentrate on your breath here. Nice and slow, deep breaths. Last couple of breaths, maybe you're able to come up a little bit more. And then what do we counter all back bends with? Child's pose, that's right. All back bends, we counter them with child's pose. Back onto our belly for bow pose. You can go this one uh, both legs, uh, or you can go one leg at a time. If you go one leg at a time, I'll let you know and to switch. Here, go ahead and get a grip onto your ankles, preferably from the outside of the ankles. And this pose starts when you kick those knees, kick the legs, kicking the legs causes that back bend to happen and you're just holding on with those hands. Maybe kick harder during an inhale. Hold on exhales. If you're going one leg at a time, switch now. Last couple of breaths, maybe kick a little bit harder here. And what do we counter this great back bend with? Child's pose, back to child's pose. Bend the back one way and bend the back the other way. Right, come on out of child's pose onto all fours. Um, then it's gonna flip around and now uh, let's get into some knees to chest. Legs towards the front of the room. I'm gonna finish off here with supine spinal twists. Start by dropping the left leg. Left hand on that right knee, guiding the right knee to the left. Right hand pointing to the right, eyes following hand to the right. And back to knees to chest. 
other side, this time releasing the right leg, placing your right hand on your left knee, guiding the left knee to the right, left hand pointing to the left, eyes following your hand to the left. And back to knees to chest. And that's our yoga class for today, everybody. Go ahead and extend your legs. Prepare for some final relaxation by letting your feet droop to the side. Hands coming to rest along the side. And for the next couple minutes, find yourself in final relaxation. Everybody, come on back to the Titan Gym. Start by lifting up those knees, turning onto your side, using your arms to push yourself back up to sitting. Crisscross applesauce. Hope you have yourselves a nice first day back here at school. Um, tomorrow we are going to be going for a run. It's going to be our two miler. Awesome. Have yourselves a great day, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Namaste.